Hey y'all, I wanted to talk to you for a minute about um, praising Him through the tough times. Um, sometimes it's really easy when things are going well, but um, it's harder to keep our focus maybe when um, something goes wrong. The uh, you know, the toilet overflows, the oven um, isn't working, the electricity, something happened to the electricity, um, we, need some, we need more money to pay our bills, the internet went down. Um, whatever it is, it's really easy to just focus on that thing. It's like we're pre-programmed in our heads to have room for one thought. Uh, when something goes wrong and that one thought is is over and over, how are we going to deal with this? How are we going to deal with the money crisis or the health crisis or um, the thing that needs fixing? And um, we can really get worked up over that. Um, a spiritual mentor of mine a long time ago kind of taught me to praise him through it rather when something goes wrong rather than focusing on that one thing as soon as that happens I start praising him for everything else and when I start praising him for everything else um, that thing that seems so monumental it really isn't and um, it, it glorifies him it helps us have peace um, I just wanted to share that with you. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, starting in verse 16, it says, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. The very next verse is quench not the Spirit. And one way that we can quench the Spirit is when we're dwelling on that thing that's going wrong, when we're fretting over it. Because whatever's wrong is in our is in the flesh, whether it is a health issue with us, or whether it is something in our lives. That's our fleshly lives. That's our life on earth. Is the crisis in our life here? But um, that's nothing compared to our spiritual life. So I just exhort you when there comes a crisis in your life to give thanks through it, not f not necessarily for it. Because it says, in everything give thanks. Though God works all things for good for those that love him, we don't have to necessarily thank him for the crisis. Um, but for everything else that he's done, when we r really start counting our blessings, it changes everything. Anyway, you'll have a blessed week and um, a wonderful Thanksgiving.